So, you've been sideloading apps and sideloading apps, and you're just like, man, I'm getting tired of doing all the whole sideloading thing. I wish I could just, I wish I could install these apps without having to hook up my go to the computer. Guess what? There's a way to do it by sideloading the last app you'll ever need to sideload. It's one sideloading app to rule them all. Let's talk about that! Just kidding. Okay, to um, the last thing you need to, last sideload app to, to rule them all as of right now is this app called uh, TV App Repo. You can do you can do cool things with this app, and you do it within the Oculus TV application. You can install apps um, on your Go with it, and it also can create shortcuts for the for the apps to show up. Don't get me wrong; you can install like regular VR apps, um, like ALVR, for example. Uh, you, whatever the whatever the APK is, any APK that's compatible that can be installed can be installed through here if it's compatible with the operating system. But whether it'll run in VR or whether it runs like if you run um, like Netflix, you could install like Netflix. You know, like I've read somebody installed like a just a regular Android ver version of Netflix, but that's not going to run in VR. But it will run if it's a 2D app. It should run in Oculus TV. But if it's a VR app, you can still install it, but you know you have to get out of Oculus TV to, to play it. So, all right, so you go here and you install this app. Um, I personally would recommend the app uh, dash open community dash release um, because it has like an extra repo with some things you can download. The Play Store version doesn't, no big deal. They both do the same thing. So, um, I will show you what it looks like on here. My screen record, come on. All right, wait, what? My bad. Um, connect. Someone's had to do this twice. Now, okay, we're recording. Now, let's see. Oh, yeah. Um,. Go home. Library. Oculus TV. All right, let's do something. Let's do this. Actually, let's go to the browser. Browser, browser, browser. Let's say Let's say we want to install Firefox, okay? Let's do Firefox. Firefox or Android. Okay, so I'm downloading Focus right here. You can see it here. Now, it's the APK. I don't even know what this is. I've never downloaded this before. So we're going to Oculus TV. By hitting the Oculus Home button, that panel will come up or go away. All right, this loads. And then just scroll. It's kind of weird how it does. You have to go up. All right, and then how do we do this? I always get this wrong. Scroll over to. There we go. TV app repo. Yeah, sometimes it's a little bit slow. Okay, come on. What? Click on it. It's going to come up. Now it's going to show me all my downloaded APKs that are on my device. And here's focus. Click on it. And ask if you want to install it. Install. Let's 
let's see what happens when we click open. Okay. Now we probably, oh, what? We can use this browser? Oh my gosh. I was not able to actually use the regular Firefox browser. This is amazing. Um, what? What search is this? Is this Google? It is. It's Google. Wow. So that's cool. Well, it's giant. Well, actually, how cool is it? <laughs> Maybe it's not that cool. But um, no, I don't want to. I don't want this. Okay. So anyhow, that is an example of how to uh, install. Hit the back button. The back button. Um, now let's go ahead and exit out of this. Now let's let's see let's see if it made a shortcut or not. I don't know if that app will make a shortcut for Oculus TV, which is basically like Android TV. Let's see, do we see anything about Firefox Focus? No, we don't. Okay, so we can make one. Watch this. Click on TV app repo. Uh, go to, I think it's Lean Back Shortcuts. No, that's not it. It's, hang on. That's right, you gotta scroll down. You can't click with this. Go to Lean back shortcuts, and then we'll just find the app. This basically shows everything you have installed. There we go. Click on it. Click create shortcut. Just wait. It's kind of slow. It's not instant, that's for sure. Oh yeah, add, click off, back the ad, and come on. There we go. Install. Done. Now, uh, I think we'll have to back out of Android, or er, Oculus TV. Uh, okay, click on it again. And we should have a panel down below that says focus. They always go to the end. And I've got a bunch of stuff in here that doesn't work that I want to get rid of. It didn't show up. Wait. There it is. Firefox Focus. That's weird. It has it has app cloner icon. That must have been a mistake. I have installed app cloner before. So I don't know, normally it's just black, but here we go, click on it. Bam. Automatic private browsing. eBay. Can I make it a desktop site? You can block everything, and I block the fact that I'm on a desktop version of a browser. Give me a desktop version of the site. No. All right. Let's see. Anyhow. Um. Back. Back.
you stop this here. That is how to, that is one way to uh, create or to install things on your own. You can, you can download things from the browser, you can download APKs and then just launch TV app repo and it will uh, show you all the APKs you have on your device and you can just install it from there. All right, I'm going to create another video about how to actually make the uh, create shortcuts for Oculus TV apps that actually look better because normally this app just creates like a black square at least that, that's been my experience I don't know why that one showed up with an app cloner icon that was kinda weird but uh, for now this is it if you liked it give it a thumbs up if you thought it was dumb give it a thumbs down um, and let me know what you think. Hopefully this is helpful to a lot of people. I think it's super helpful. I love it that I can just do this. I don't. I can just be away from my computer and I can install APKs. Um, I'll make also another video on how to uninstall APKs. I just wanted to keep this video kind of not, I just do not want to put too much information into one video. So, um, alright. Thanks for watching.